Hey guys, my name is Tyson, and this video I will show you how to do a tie rotation on a car. So the reason why I'm doing this tie rotation video is because I had a project from my, from my automotive online uh, schooling course that involved me needing to do a tie rotation. So I thought I'd do it for my school and make a video out of it for you guys in case you needed to know how to do a tie rotation. So yeah, let's get started with our front wheel drive tie rotation. Alright, now we're gonna put it on jack stands so it's off the ground. We got one in the back and one in the front. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side after this. So there's many different patterns of tire rotations. This is my sister's car. It is uh, front wheel drive. Your car may have front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, or all wheel drive. You can check your owner's manual as well if you aren't sure what pattern to use. There's also a list of patterns here I'll show you on the screen. And so yeah, let's get started with our front wheel drive tire rotation. Figure out what pattern your car has for tires and then start rolling them to the new spots. Our pattern is the back ones go to the opposite front side and the front ones are going straight back. Now, since you got all the tires in the right spot, it's just a matter of putting them and reinstalling them back on the When torquing your tires, you always want to check your owner's manual to see what spec your tires need to be torqued to and you need to adjust accordingly. Also when you torque your lug nuts, you want to make sure you torque in a crisscross pattern to evenly torque your bolts. Once you've torqued all your tires, you can lower your car down and get rid of the jack stands and you're done. You can drive off. <laughs> 